You must stay at the grocery store forever. Say what? Everyone knows that the whole power corrupts thing is a myth. You all have really outdone yourselves. A surprise party for me? We didn't throw you a party. This was your idea and you planned it and made us go along with it. Chad, you're wanted in the break room. There's an ex... Exploded. Exploded man who's on fire. I'm on my way. And then you were, you ran around the store telling everybody to come into the break room and yell surprise when you walked in. Jeremy, what's important here is that we're all eating chocolate cake, not your silly conspiracy theories. Right, everyone? Yay! Yay! Chad is great. Give us the chocolate cake. Thank you, thank you. Apparently, Mopey Ass over there doesn't like chocolate cake. Ooh. Ooh. Shut up, Mopey Ass. Who needs you? Whatever. <laughs> what good times we've had here over the years. Why, it seems like only yesterday that I got this job, after slam dunking the interview. Greetings. Nice place you've got here. I command you to hire me. Yes, of course. Uh, I know who you are. The famous Chad Vader. Oh, please. You're embarrassing me. I suppose... Someday you'll even take over my position, you're so great. But of course, that's not really how it happened, is it, Chad? I don't remember Randy sounding like that. Brian! Why don't you tell him the real story instead of making stuff up? You look familiar. Are you... Brian Krause? That's right. Holy sh! you were in charm! Lloyd, language! Yeah! I was also in an episode of Mad Men. It's before I left for Hollywood, I worked right here at Empire Market. Right when Chad was hired. And I know for a fact that everything about him is a lie. That's not true. You're the liar. Yeah? Yeah? You're nothing but a phony baloney, Chad. A phony baloney. You don't even know how to insult people, Brian. And you never did. Yeah? Yes. Well, one thing I do know is how your job interview went. Because I was there, and I saw the whole pathetic scene. You see, Chad was about ten minutes late. No. Don't you dare flashback. Stop that flashbacking. So, I see you were a day shift manager at Olive Garden? Yes. Under my command, thousands of breadsticks were dispatched every hour, and bottomless salad bowls remained bottomless. And why did you leave? I would have called them myself, but it doesn't look like you have any references on here. You don't need any references. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Chad, what exactly are you doing there? They didn't understand my power, don't you see? The Olive Garden feared my managerial might. Please hire me, I need this job. Well, I'm not exactly sure you're right for the position, but you are enthusiastic, and in light of your handicap? What handicap? I guess you can have the job on a probationary basis. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What is thy bidding? My master. Please, please don't do that, Chad. Don't kneel. I, I, I'm sorry, my master. I mean, Randy. My buddy. See, I could just gonna go back here and... Uh, oh, thank you again. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I didn't see that. Sorry. Uh, okay. Okay, bye. Thank you. I've got a bad feeling about this. I was there the whole time. <laughs> You're such a sad, desperate man. What a hoot. <laughs> hey! Jeremy doesn't think I'm such a loser, do you, Jeremy? Ugh. Well, you're done telling your story, Brian. So why don't you just... Done? I'm just getting started. <laughs>